Hi, coloring friends. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome in. It has been a little minute and I apologize about that. Uh, you know, I just kind of lost my coloring mojo, my filming mojo, but, um, yeah, nevertheless, I'm still here and I'm trying to get everything back on track. So, um, I wanted to jump on and do kind of like a first look, little unboxing with me, um, video. I bought the chameleon, um, changing color markers and I bought the whole set, <laughs> the 52, um, chameleon pins. They were a little bit pricey. I think I paid like 119 on Amazon. So yeah, they weren't cheap, but, um, I had been eyeing these for a while and, um, I wanted to try them out. Um, so yeah, I thought I would kind of do like, um, a first look at them with y'all on here. So I already took off the plastic, took them out the box. So, you know, just to save some time. And this is the sleeve that was on the box. So I had to slide this off to get the box open. So now we will get the box and it is big. It is a big box and it does come with a, um, you know, with like a strap. So yeah. So I, I, I guess if you want to travel with it, but this thing's pretty huge. I definitely wouldn't travel and it slides, it slides out. So you take this top part off and this thing is not light. It does weigh, weighs probably like five pounds. So I know previously that these came in the black box. Um, I guess they changed um, their packaging. And there was tape all on here to keep them from coming off. I mean, like, you know, moving around, sliding around. But I took the tape off. <laughs> you know, just kind of save some time. But, um, yeah, let's, let's take a look. Let's get into it. And they do set up like this so that's pretty nice but um okay let me let me move the strap so yeah but they do come with a um this is the fine point so this is the 4.4 mm and that's the 6 the 0.6 mm and they also come with a colorless blender this is the brush side And that is the fine point. So like that. And I do like that they come with a, um, what's it called? Tweezers. They come with tweezers and they come with the extra nibs, the, the replacement nibs. So I really, really like that. was nice but yeah um so far I like the packaging and all the little extra things that come with it I am going to be trying to test out on um this mixed media paper and then I'm going to see if I can test just kind of in a coloring book give me one second Something. Sorry, guys. 
Um, okay, sorry about that. I had to get a coloring book because I wanted to try to test it on a coloring page. But um, yeah, I know that there is coloring tops that you can purchase separately. I haven't purchased any of those, so you can mix the colors. Um, I will be trying to purchase some of those soon because I definitely want to play around with mixing the colors and all that. So, um, yeah. Let's see. There is some pamphlets back here. And this just has all the information. Uh, I'm just trying to find the English side. Maybe back here. Um, all right. Can't find it, but okay. <clears throat> and then it has another pamphlet. And one pin, three great ways to use. So, yeah, it just kind of tells you like the basics, um, the brush nibs, the bullet nib, color, color, color blends, all that stuff. So, yeah. And it says how to create uh, color blends using chameleon color tops. So definitely want to get some color tops. But yeah. So that's some good information right there. Put those to the side. And let's see if we can get into it. to get it to where it doesn't fall my desk um I am just gonna do a pink they are long and um I haven't I've seen a couple of people review them but I haven't watched like in depth so this is all just kind of you know new to me <laughs> so I'm just gonna go for it <laughs> so if I'm doing it wrong and y'all are screaming at me I'm sorry I apologize let me bring you down but um yeah I'm just gonna kind of just go for it see what it is um they're not super heavy in the hand but they're not um they're not the lightest thing either and i think they are longer let me see if i can pull um yeah they're longer than my tombow so yeah but yeah let's just see let's just see what it is But yeah, I, first impression, I do like how they color and like how um, they feel. So that's good. Let me try. I know that they have to kiss. I know that you put this in here and I know that they have to kiss. So there it is in there. I don't know if y'all can see them kissing, but you're supposed to do it, I think, upside down, or I'm sorry, down like this. And you leave it there for a second, for a couple of seconds. And let's see if it changed anything. Yep, 
Yeah, definitely. I know this isn't like the best swatch. So, <laughs> let's try it again. <laughs> I, I, it's very, it's very um, trial and error with me. Like, very. Let's try it with, let's try it with the blue and I'll try to do a little bit of a better swatch. So, I'm just gonna, okay. So I'm gonna get it guys, I promise. I promise one day you're gonna come on my channel and you're gonna be like, she finally got it together. Today is not that day, but I'm just saying one day. So if y'all hear the barking and stuff in the background, that's my dog. But yeah, let's see. All right. Okay, so drew a little heart, drew a little heart. And let's put this, um, is it going? Hold on. There we go. Okay. So let's put this in the chamber and get them together so they can kiss. And you're supposed to hold it up. Let's see if y'all can see that so holding it up for a few seconds <coughs> that should be good and then I'm gonna go and let's So yeah, it definitely did the effect, which is really nice. I really like that. I'm just drawing. I'm sorry about my hearts. They're horrible. But I'm going to try it again. And I'm just going to use the same blue. Now, I can see where, like, you see that, where they're, like, kissing? I can see where maybe the brush top like the tip might get a little bent I can see that happening so I'm not the best watcher but Something like that. <laughs> definitely, definitely got to be I'm practicing with these. Um, you know, getting used to using them. But I think they're super cool. Let me get a coloring book. I'm just doing it in a mandala book. This is the Winter Mandalas by Alexandra Francis. And, excuse me. I just kind of want to see how it does in a coloring book I'm gonna move the box I'm just gonna pull a couple of colors we'll go with green <coughs> okay so Okay, so I got out burgundy and I got out summer sun and a grass green. Now we're just gonna try them out. I'm gonna do the green. Okay. 
I'm going to take the green. I'm going to make them kiss. They're in the chamber. They're kissing. I'm going to leave it there for a few seconds. I'm going to take it off. You can see like the color differentiation. And I am going to start here. So yeah really like that. I'm going to put it in just for a little bit more to see if I can go over the same way. Let's see. Yeah, definitely can. So that is the effect of it. Um, I will say this. I am not great at blending markers um i've never really have been no matter how hard i try so using something like this although i don't think that it's necessary <clears throat> excuse me i think that they're fun i think that they're um i think they're expensive for what they are um I do think that they're fun, um, like I stated, but I also feel like for me, this is personally for me, not, I mean, you know, everybody is different. It's hard for me to blend markers. It always has been. I've tried, I've watched the videos. I do get frustrated. So having something like this, I feel would really, I would really, I would really benefit from it um, to be able to, you know, make effects like this um, is something that, you know, I really like. So to me, in my opinion, I think that they're worth it, even though that yes, that they are expensive and they do have smaller packs. So you don't have to get the big one. I just... I got the whole thing, um, but um, you also don't have to get the color tops, but I know that I would be purchasing them because I think they're fun and I think that it would be nice um, to have a couple of them, but I think personally I would benefit from something like this because I do have trouble um, blending and... You know, it's, it's, they're, it's not easy. It's not easy for me, you know, to blend at all. So, um, I really like them. I will say not everybody's going to agree with me or, or anything like that. And that's okay. Um, but I, I personally, I personally do like them. Um, I'm just coloring I like um I like the effect that it does. Um I like the I like the vibe of it. <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie. Um I'm gonna try the nib. That's the nib. See how the nib does for the little spaces. But um I'm excited to have them. Um I'm excited to use them. I'm excited to practice more with them. I'm excited to, uh, you know, learn more. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I really, I can see how maybe somebody that 
like myself has a hard time blending with markers, I could see how they could be beneficial. Um, <clears throat> do I think that they're necessary? Uh, no, I don't. But I do... I do think that they are fun. I'm trying not the burgundy. I do think that they are fun. I think they're going to be beneficial for me. Um, so yeah. Let's try this. So. Yeah, that's just my humble opinion. Um, I do have to play with them more. I have to get used to them. I think that there's a learning curve with them. Um, I do think that they, uh, you know, they get some, you know, they, they need some time to get used to and stuff, but I do like them. I don't regret my purchase. Um, I'm very happy to have them in my collection. Like I said, I think that I'm going to benefit from them, um, and I'm super excited about them. So, yeah, I just kind of wanted to come on here and just do my first, you know, impression, my thoughts on them. Um, tell me what you think. What do y'all think? Do y'all like them? Is it something that maybe y'all would benefit from? Y'all would be interested in? Um, I know everybody's different. Everybody colors different, and that's okay. Um, I would just like to, you know y'all's opinions and stuff on them but thank you thank you for joining me thank you for sticking around thank you for um you know watching and supporting me and i appreciate y'all and i will see y'all in the next one happy coloring friends